Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Friday, October 2nd, National Name Your Car Day. Mine is Lightning McQueen. I am Andrew Caddy, and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Today's Hispanic heritage fact is that Jose Ferrer was the first Hispanic to win an Oscar back in 1950 for his film. Math counts as a club for middle school students who love math. Interested students should join the Google Classroom with this code. All practices will be virtual and a general meeting will be held in the Google Classroom Monday, October 5th at 5.30. See you or email Ms. Jordan if you have any questions. If you wish to run for middle school SGA officer position, please join the Google Classroom with this code, where you can complete the application process. Election packets to qualify as a candidate for a high school student government officer position will be available in Mr. Sarver's room or through email. The completed package must be returned to Bob Sarver by today. Now to Fast Food Frenzy. Introducing Wendy's new pretzel bacon pub cheeseburger. Yeah, we said Wendy's. Welcome back to the second episode of Fast Food Frenzy. I'm Joshua Lopez. And I'm Jesse Bratman. Today's episode, we were reviewing Wendy's pretzel bacon pub cheeseburger. The burger consists of a quarter pound of beef, beer cheese, bacon, Munster cheese, honey mustard, pickles, fried onions, all on a pretzel bun. Let's dig in. Very nice texture of the, uh, the pretzel bun. Let's, uh, move in the white. I gotta say, Josh, for all these ingredients, this burger is kind of bland. I have to agree with that statement. I'm tasting the bread mostly, and I'm not really getting any meat or cheese or any spices in this. I'm only getting... Like a little bit of cheese and nothing else. Not I agree it. with you, Josh. This is very bready. And honestly, I had very high expectations for this burger. And my day is kind of ruined. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would agree with that. You know, I'm really hungry, but for, for someone being this hungry, I, I really don't want to eat this. I mean, the onions, I mean, I'm tasting it. It tastes like a little crispy, but nothing's really there. I'm just, I'm left with the empty feeling in my heart. It's extremely bready for all of these ingredients. The bread is just really overpowering. You really don't get much else. And I'm, I gotta say, this is a one out of five for me, Josh. This is, this is worse than when my wife left me. <laughs> I'm a tear. This is one of the most unexpected things I've ever tasted. This does not even deserve a one out of five. It deserves a negative four out of five. I can't deal with this burger. It's. I'm truly saddened. A very sad episode of Fast Food Frenzy for you, Wildcats. I'm Jesse Bratman. And I'm Joshua Lopez. Have an awesome day, Wildcats. All current and prospective members of NJHS should join the Google Classroom to access information about the up-and-coming membership drive. New members need to fill out an application to join NJHS. Use this code to join the Google Classroom. If you want to be a part of Middle School Track, you must join the Middle School Track Google Classroom with this code. You can find the code on Miss Landmesser's door. The Brevard County Supervisor of Elections Office is looking for student volunteers at four South Brevard sites the evening of November 3rd general election. Volunteers will be needed from 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. to assist with the receiving of deliveries from polling places. The Election Support Center on north of John Rhodes Boulevard in Melbourne needs eight volunteers. In addition, the Vieira Elections Office on Judge Fran Jameson Way, the Greater Palm Bay Senior Center on Culver Drive, and the Palm Bay Elections Office on Kogan Drive each need six volunteers. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of WCTZ News. This has been Andrew Caddy, and have a stupendous day, Wildcats.